good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 29th of september 2023 let's start with our session what is india's gdp growth outlook for this fiscal as per the asian development bank's recent forecast so the asian development bank has reduced its gdp forecast for india for the fiscal year 2023 to 24 by 10 basis points bringing it down from 6.4% to now 6.3% and this revision is attributed to a slow down in the exports and potential disruptions in agricultural output due to unpredictable rainfall pattern and the gdp forecast for the fiscal year 24 to 25 remains unchanged at 6.7% okay so correct answer would be 6.3% option number c now let's have a look at different questions regarding this fiscal what is india's gdp percent in the april to june quarter of the current fiscal 2023 to 24 this value is 7.8% which state ranked at the top position in overall fiscal health scorecard as per financial year 23 revised budget estimate this is the state maharashtra as per the stans research report india's per capita income is likely to grow to what amount by fiscal 2030 so by fiscal 2030 as per this report india's per capita income is likely to grow to 4000 dollars international monetary fund has raised the forecast for india's gdp growth for the current fiscal to dash so imf has raised the forecast for india's gdp growth for the current fiscal to 6.1% what is india's growth forecast for this fiscal year as per the world bank answer would be 6.3% as per the imf this value is 6.1% and as per the world bank this value is 6.3% next question is the women's reservation bill which was passed by the rajya sabha will reserve what percentage of seats in the lok sabha and assemblies for women so finally almost 3 decades the women's reservation bill has been introduced in the parliament and it was unanimously passed by the rajya sabha and with this the 128 constitutional amendment bill or the nari shakti vandan adhiniyam it will reserve 1/3 of the seats in the lok sabha and in the legislative assemblies for the women okay so here correct answer would be 1 by 3 that is 33 percentage let's have a look at some of the women related current affairs which african country has 61 percentage of women in its parliament yesterday we have talked about this question answer would be rwanda which block leaders declared to create the working group on empowerment of women this was g20 Which country's cricket board announced to equalize women's match fees with the men's team? Answer would be the country England. Which was the first major sports event to offer equal prize money to men and women? Answer is US Open. Which country emerged as the champions of the inaugural Women's Asian Hockey 5S World Cup qualifier? Answer is India. And you have to tell me India has defeated which country? What is the new name of Khelo India Women's League? The new name of Khelo India Women's League is now Asmita Women's League. Okay. Next question is, which Indian city is the host of Vindarji India 2023 Summit? So the fifth international trade fair and conference, Vindarji India 2023 Summit, is set to commence in Chennai, which is the capital city of Tamil Nadu. And as part of the success of Indo-Danish Energy Partnership. a big delegation will be participating in the vindarji india 2023 summit and denmark had a remarkable energy capacity of 2.3 gigawatt right so chennai is the host for vindarji india 2023 summit now let's have a look at some of the important hosts and the conferences which country is set to host the artificial intelligence safety summit this summit would take place in uk Which city is the host of United Nations Climate Ambition Summit in 2023? Here answer is New York and recently it has been concluded and the top 3 emitters China, USA and India 
who collectively account for about 42% of global greenhouse gas emissions were absent from this summit okay so which city is the host of this particular climate emission summit answer would be new york which city hosted the sustainable development goals summit in september 2023 again answer is new york which city is the host of the final and the fourth meeting of the g20 framework working group answer is raipur which is the capital of chatisgarh which country is the host of the asian games 2023 answer is china next question is which airlines has received indian government's nod to start international flights in september 2023 so mumbai headquartered budget airlines akash air has received the union government's nod to start international flights which is expected before this year end and the approval has been received despite mass flight cancellations in the past 3 months because more than 40 pilots walked out to join rival tata led air india express okay so akash air has received indian government's approval to start their international flights in september 2023 now let's talk about some of the important airports that were in news these days which state is planning to establish an aerotropolis around its upcoming international airport here answer would be uttar pradesh next is what is the objective of b360 type of aircraft recently procured by the airport authority of india so the purpose of this aircraft is flight calibration okay rajkot international airport has been inaugurated in which indian state this is the airport in the state of gujarat which airport has been recognized as the world's most punctual airport as per the recent report released by cdm this is hyderabad airport okay which airport of india won the second rank in the cdm list of top performing global airports of 2022 this one is kempegowda international airport that lies in bangalore which airport was at the first position this is haneda airport from japan and don't forget that the seventh position was occupied by indira gandhi international airport okay next question is wfme recognition status which was seen in the news recently is associated with dash Actually the National Medical Commission India was granted the coveted World Federation for Medical Education recognition status for a tenure of 10 years and as a part of this recognition all the 706 existing medical colleges in India will become WFME accredited and the new medical colleges that will be set up in the coming 10 years will automatically become WFME accredited okay so this status is associated with medical education next question is which female player led the indian contingent at asian games opening ceremony 2023 this is an extremely important question and uh, men's hockey captain harman preet singh and ace boxer lovlina borgohen led the indian contingent during the opening ceremony at the asian games 2023 in hangzhou city and a total of 655 indian athletes are participating in the asian games this year which is the largest contingent ever so both of these names are important harman preet singh and lovlina borgohen now let's have a look at some sport related current affairs antim pangal who was seen in the news plays which sport so she is associated with wrestling and why she was in news because recently she secured a bronze medal in the women's 53 kg category at the ongoing world championships in the country serbia also she secured paris olympics 2024 quota for india that's why she is important okay she is associated with wrestling mohammad siraj who was seen in the news recently plays which sport so mohammad siraj regained his number 1 odi bowler in the world tag following his splendid show in the asia cup finals against the country sri lanka and he has climbed eight positions to the top of the rankings following his asia cup haul of 10 wickets at an average of 12.20 so he is associated with cricket ala vinil balarivan who was seen in the news recently play which is sport answer would be shooting alexander grishuk who was seen in the news is associated with which sport he is associated with chess and from which country he belong to he is from russia next is 
International Lawyers Conference 2023 was inaugurated in which Indian city? So Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the International Lawyers Conference at Vigyan Bhavan in New Delhi and it was organized by the Bar Council of India and it was focused on the theme of emerging challenges in the justice delivery system okay so international lawyers conference was inaugurated in new delhi let's have a look at some of the important conferences that were in news here first is the conference of the asia pacific forum on human rights was inaugurated in which country here answer is india which institution organized the 2023 regional cooperation and integration conference this is asian development bank which it is the host of international aerospace conference it was hosted by gwalior city which country hosted the 19th african ministerial conference on the environment this is the african country ethiopia which country is the host of international conference on preserving information integrity and public trust in election this is the country brazil next is us based chip maker micron technology carried out the ground breaking of its plant in which indian state so us based chip maker micron technology carried out the ground breaking of its 2.75 billion dollars assembly testing and packaging plant in sanand in the state of gujarat and the project marks the largest investment under the india semiconductor mission and tata projects announced its collaboration with micron technology to construct an advanced semiconductor assembly and test plant in sanand and it said that it will roll out the semiconductor chips next year okay here correct answer would be gujarat now let's see some of the important state related current affairs indian air force recently conducted its inaugural air show in which state or the union territory near the international border answer would be jammu and kashmir which indian state signed a memorandum of understanding with the british council for research faculty student exchange program this is tamil nadu a gumber in forest complex which was seen in the news recently is located in which indian state this complex lies in the state of karnataka a recent cag report has filed mismanagement affecting wildlife and forest in which state this is gujarat yesterday we have discussed all these three questions if you want to go into detail you can refer to it next is which country announced a strategic partnership with china ahead of asian games so china and syria recently announced the formation of a strategic partnership because xi jinping kicked off a series of diplomatic meetings ahead of the upcoming asian games and syrian leader attended the asian games opening ceremony along with the king of cambodia the crown prince of kuwait and the prime ministers of nepal east timor and south korea okay here correct answer would be syria now let's have a look at some of the international current affairs which country has offered temporary work permits to nearly 5 lakh venezuelans so us government has announced that it will allow more than 4 lakh 72000 venezuelans to remain in the us and work legally for next 18 months and this decision was made due to growing instability and unsafe conditions there because united nations says that more than 7 million people have left venezuela because its economy has collapsed under president nicolas maduro who has been in power since 2013 which country recently delayed the ban on new petrol and diesel cars so in a major change to the government's approach to achieving net zero by 2050 UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak delayed the ban on new petrol and diesel cars to 2035 from 2030 and the British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak announced key changes in the government policies that includes 9 year delay in the ban on new fossil fuel heating for off gas grid homes to 2035 okay interestingly suspended visa services in which country until further notice this question is important and because of ongoing diplomatic tensions between india and canada india has suspended its visa services in canada till any further notice and this was announced by bls visa application center which is the application center for indian visas in canada and before this india issued an advisory to indian nationals in 
Canada, including students, to exercise utmost caution while traveling in the country. Right. So here, correct answer would be Canada. As per the UNESCO report. mass exclusion of the girls from education in which country widened the global educational gap here answer is afghanistan country and now the last question says when is the international day of sign languages celebrated so indian sign language research and training center new delhi that works under the ministry of social justice and empowerment celebrated international day of sign languages on 23rd of september and this year the theme is a world where deaf people everywhere can sign anywhere this was the whole theme okay let's see some of the important days and themes which state passed a resolution declared poila baisak as a state foundation day this is west bengal when is world physiotherapy day observed every year we celebrate this day on 8th of september International Literacy Day is observed on which day? This is the same date, eighth of September. When is the National Small Industry Day observed in India? This is thirtieth of August. Cabinet declared which day as National Space Day in India? This is twenty third of August when Chandrayaan three landed on the moon. And you have to tell me when was the Chandrayaan three launched from India? Please write your answer in the comment section. So these are the most important current affairs and the news from today. and now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past 2 3 days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs Till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this minus hatsana signing off